It's kind of a, an a overblown fairy tale, but grounded in reality and real human emotions. You really relate to them not as only figures from fairy tale, but actual people. The happy ending is something we all spend our life striving for, and then, but no one ever talks about what happens after the happy ending. I think that's the other reason that makes it a classic. You get to kind of go into the private lives of these characters that you think you know. There's Little Red Riding Hood. You've got Jack and his mother. And a stepmother and a granny and a giant. And you have Rapunzel. And you have Cinderella. And then you have her prince, who is his own piece of work. It is funny. It's got comedy and tragedy and all within the same characters. There's magic beans. Wishes, hope, love. There's a... Mm. It has a lot of surprises. Marriage problems. It has magic. Murder. Is that everything? Birth. And a really great witch. And a wolf. It's about how humans behave, and it's also about redemption. It will make you think about your life and your dreams and how the two have matched or haven't matched, and it will give you hope. This production is unlike any other sort of production of Into the Woods. Well, for one thing, we have the orchestra on stage, which is actually pretty unique, and we are all around them, and they are around us. A lot of like cool conventions, it's visually stunning. So things will happen in this that you will never have seen in another production, ever. The Oregon Shakespeare Festival's production stood out from the very beginning. 48,000 people came and filled the, a 1,200-seat house and were transformed by it. My two colleagues, Patty and Jim, and I were hearing just tremendous things about Oregon Shakespeare Theater Festival's into the woods. So we decided it must come here, it must come to Los Angeles, it must come to Beverly Hills. We have to do it now. Yeah.